Ollie, world snooker champion for a fourth time. How special a moment is that for you? Yeah, you know, I just want to congratulate Ali again on a, a brilliant tournament. Um, he hasn't had the best of seasons, but he's, he's come good, you know, um, in, in the big one again. So, you know, and he's played fantastic. He's beat some brilliant players this week. He beat Judd, the favourite. Um, yeah, that's Maguire in the semis. You know, to, to beat them two players is, 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 is massive, you know, and to, to make it all the way to final. So, you know, I've got to say a massive well done to Ali for another brilliant world championship, really. What was the key to your success, do you think, over these past 17 days? Um, I just think I kind of uh, played with a bit more fluency. I tried to stay patient. Um, I think I only really kind of lost it a little bit once during the whole tournament and uh, where I thought, you know what, I'm, you know, uh, maybe my, I'm not up to scratch, but I quickly kind of turned that session around. Um, and it was just a, a basically just trying to stay in control of your emotions and, and, and not get too carried away and not get too down and just kind of keep things a little bit into in perspective and try to, to see it for what it was and and try to um, make sure that you know uh, you know I wasn't kind of being critical of myself if things didn't go well it was uh, just you know next time I get to the table try and play the best shot that I could possibly play and just, and just give it my best all the way through and that's and that's what I've done but it's hard to do that for 17 days um, it's just an absolute marathon and a slog and you know um, to do it at this age in my career as well 36 you know I kind of I never doubted myself that I could win a tournament but to, ma to maybe win another world title I probably um, I didn't know whether I was ever going to do that so to actually do it is, is a fantastic feeling and um, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm over the moon, really. And would it be fair to say that your work with Dr. Peters mm. has been a big part of why you're sitting here now with the trophy again? Massive, you know. Um, that, that guy is... Uh, if I was Man City, I'd go and buy him. <laughs> I'd go, there's your £3 million a year. You're on, on the firm, mate. Uh, He's not a psychologist. He's a he's 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 an expert scientist of, the, of how the brain works. And I've never needed anyone to tell me how to play snooker. Um, you know, I've had help along the way, which I'm very thankful for. Off of Ray Reardon, who has uh, t taught me another side to the game. But I was always an aggressive player and wanted to play that type of way. So Steve just helped me kind of understand that you know the brain is a machine, and and that you know if you kind of uh, manage it, you can kind of get you can kind of do anything you really want to if, if you want to do it and deep down in my heart we've you know I've, I would like to play snooker I'd love to play snooker I've always loved the game but I just kind of um, you know I just got too involved wrapped up in it and didn't kind of you know I live and breathe this game so it's not when I'm playing it's when I go home I'm a, I'm a nightmare to be around because sometimes I can kind of shut off from the world because I'm too in, wrapped up in you know be, trying to be perfect and it just made me realise that you can't be perfect, but as long as you give it your best, you, you know that's uh, that's all you can do. I had a chat with him earlier, and I asked him if you lifting up the trophy would be like you know the ultimate in job satisfaction <laughs> for him. And he said, actually, what really pleases me mm. is that Ronnie's happy again. Mm. Mm. Exactly, you know, uh, you know, I've, that, that's 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 just the, the f uh, philosophy behind it. It's kind of like, um, you know, we we know you know we're. You know, to be able, fortunate enough to be able to play this game, and um, and it's kind of just given me the to be happy in my life and allow myself to enjoy my snooker as well. But it ain't like A, B, C, D, and E. You know, and you get this. What well, it is, but it's still hard. You know, so don't get me wrong. I've had my. It's been a challenge, but you know what? That's been the challenge, and uh, so you know, I've learned a lot over the last 12 months. I'm not a better player. I'm just kind of a bit more, um, I'm giving myself more of a chance, I suppose. And that's probably why I got the result this tournament. Special moment to, to share your triumph with your son as well. Oh, it's the best, the best, the best. I didn't ever think I was going to get that opportunity um, to share the moments with him. Um, so it was so nice to have him here. And, uh, you know, he loves snooker. <laughs> I'm trying to turn him off of it, but uh, he ain't having none of it. So to have him here, he loves watching the snooker. He loved it at Wembley, uh, Ali Pally. So just to have him here watching, and you know, I got a bit emotional even before the match was over because I just thought, you know what, just to, it's just me and him here, you know, and it just felt like me and him in that whole arena. Didn't feel like there was people watching me. Didn't feel like I'd anyone now. Just felt this massive buzz and connection between me and him. 
So that's just the most best feeling I've ever had in my life. The best feeling I've ever had in my life was when he came to Ali Pali. This is up there with it. Um, but just to have your close ones with you when you're, you know, doing something and, and achieving something that, you know, to most people is, is, is a fantastic achievement to be world champion. So very special. So given all you've just said, can we put this talk of retirement to bed once and for all? Um, no, no, not really. I've, I've, I've had a long time to think about everything I've done. It's not a knee-jerk reaction. I'm not saying I have retired, but um, what I am saying is, is that my family become the most important thing in my life. And, uh, you know, snooker, you know, I work as hard as anyone, and I'm prepared to work as hard as anyone, but we, I just want to be treated fairly. And I think the top players need to be treated fairly, and that's up for the governing body to kind of treat the players right um, and, and kind of say, well, OK, you know, um, we don't expect players to be able to travel to 28 tournaments a year, but but either come up with a money list and make it fair rather than kind of forcing players. You're not forcing players, but if players don't play in these minor events, you know you're going to drop outside to 16. You know you're kind of going to have to qualify for tournaments. And, uh, you know, I think there's a better way of doing it. And, uh, listen... Even if there was no ranking tw uh, points for them PTC events, I'd still go to some of them. So all that business that I'm not prepared to go to them because it's playing in front of a cube, it's, it's, it's just not the case. So I just don't like feeling um, that you're being blackmailed, if it's the right word, I don't know, or forced to play in certain events. So, you know, I've had a long time to think about it, but I'm not going to hang around for another two years to wait until things become fair, what I believe to be fair. Um, so, you know, they have a chance to kind of um, sort things out. And uh, in my in my opinion, but I, I ain't hanging around. I've made plans, and um, but I ain't making no knee, knee jerk reactions. I'm having a good four, five, six months off, whatever. Um, and I'll assess the situation. Rory, can I just ask you one question about your, your achievement? Um, mm. I think Ray Reardon, obviously a man you know well, um, was the oldest player to win this since he won it 34 years ago. Wow. Do you feel, uh, <laughs> they say it's a young man's game these days, so you, uh, do you feel one of the golden oldies already? Um, I feel, I feel, uh, I don't feel old, but when I look around, when I come to tournaments, I see all these 21s and 18s and 23 year olds and they're buzzing and they've got full of enthusiasm. Now, obviously, you kind of think to yourself, well, how long can I keep going on? I know my chances of winning tournaments are getting less and less. They're not increasing, but, you know, I still feel that I have enough experience and enough um, skill to, uh, to give myself a chance. You know, my long game wasn't great, but I kind of was, uh, it was OK. And, uh, you know, I was able to string a few frames together and, um, and, and do some damage. And, you know, I was, you know, just trying to be, you know, like a scientist, if you like, you know, trying to cover all bases and, yeah. Do you think you'll still be winning it like Ray did when he was 45? Oh, I don't know, mate. I have just uh, don't want to go down that road. I've answered that question already, I think. Do you feel war weary, though? Do you uh, feel war weary? Like you have, you know? I think anyone, I don't think it's just me. I think even if you're 21, uh, you're going to feel weary at the end of this tournament. I think it's a 17-day marathon. And if you wasn't kind of a bit tired and during... You know, I think once you get to the quarters, I think everybody's kind of hit their peak by then. I think the best snooker has been played. I think the quarter of the finals is about the best round, the second round and the quarters. I think after that, it's just a matter of trying to maintain, you know, and uh, and to... So you probably won't see the best snooker in the semis or the final. You're just seeing people just that are able to manage their tempo, if you like, better and, uh, and stay in control. So... You know, it's probably seven days longer than the tournament should be in, in that in that sort of respect because I think a lot of people have passed their peak after ten days of playing every day. It's very hard to get yourself up for it um, and keep going. But you know, maybe this is the Iron Man of snooker, I suppose.